In this tutorial, you'll learn how to use feature and attribute coding to measure points on the utility line the way you want to. Utility Survey comes preloaded with a feature library called ORI.FXL. This library can be augmented, modified, or merged with another library using Trimble Business Center. The ORI.FXL feature code may also be modified in Trimble Access by going to Settings, then Feature Libraries, and selecting the library file to edit. Let's move on to how to use feature coding while measuring the utility line, but keep in mind that all of the fields in the entry forms can be modified according to your needs. In this tutorial, we'll use line mode, but the same thing can be done from the sand panel. In this case, imagine you would like to measure a gas line and an electric line that lie parallel to one another. First, we'll measure the gas line. Go to page three of this panel. In a new job, Utility Survey will still remember your last use point number and start from the next new one. However, you might want to pick a more identifiable number, like 100, to distinguish a break between the last line you mapped and this one. Notice how the point box is checked under Measure Form. This means that the measure form will appear whenever we try to measure a utility point. You could check the boxes to make the measure form appear when you measure a line or a peak as well. You can choose these same options for the attribute form. Now open the option list for Utility Auto Measure feature at the bottom. Here, type or search or scroll through the list to find the feature type you will measure. In this case, since we are measuring a gas line, we found and selected gas. You'll see how there are a number of fields to input information about this particular feature you're about to measure. All these fields can be changed if you edit the feature library. Enter the relevant information about the gas line. Now save the information and switch back to field sense. Make your first measurement. In this case, we chose a line measurement, so no form appeared and the program made the measurement automatically. Make a few more line measurements. Back on the line panel, select Favorites and then Point Manager. Get familiar with recognizing the names for various points the software recorded. UL100 is the above ground point you measured. Then come the initial settings you made. Limits, Style, Offsets, Spar, and Thresholds. Finally, VUL100 is the first underground point that you measured. Then begin the points from your second measurement. UL101 is the second above ground point, and VUL101 is the corresponding underground point. Scroll over in this same screen. The VUL points will have a gas code, as you specified on page three of the line panel. UL points will have no code, and the other points for limits, style, offsets, spar, and threshold are metadata. Those point values will only be logged again if and when you change their settings during the measurement process. If you look at the details for one of the VUL underground points, you'll see this. The point includes data for the depth and offset and other information including the above ground reference point, UL101 in this case. On the main line panel, click Map. In the Options menu, you can choose how you'd like the map to display your points. Back in Map View, pan to here to view the utility line, the points we measured, and the X locations of where the spar measured the points. Now let's measure the electric line, which we know runs along the side of the gas line. Remember to configure the transmitter to the new line and change any frequency settings if necessary. Then go back to page 3 of the line panel and input the code for electric line into the utility auto mesh feature. Here are the input prompts we get for an electric line. Again, these fields are customizable. Once you change the feature you're measuring, the system automatically breaks the line. That means it knows the gas and electric lines aren't connected. We can also make the starting point for the electric line 200 to distinguish it. Make some measurements of the electric line in field sense. Now return to Point Manager from Favorites. 
Sort the list to view the underground points all at once. You can see how you measured four points on the gas line and then four on the electric line. The coding for each of these points both shows the quality of horizontal and vertical measurements as well as indicating whether a line began or ended. Go back and view the map. Now you should have two lines showing the location of the gas and electric lines. In Trimble Business Center, you can filter the codes for each of these lines to show you only their utility type code. In that case, you'll see the gas line in yellow and the electric line in red. Now that you have completed your measurements, you can export the data to Excel or CAD files. This will be covered in the exporting tutorial.